Warner Brothers. The Gambling Health Alliance GHA, from the United Kingdom is warning parents about a startling new statistic, over 1 in 10 young gamers are in debt because they spend too much on loot boxes, is making waves with their upcoming Superman reboot, as the J.J. Abrams production is believed to be starring cinema's first ever Black Man of Steel. Indeed, almost one in six young gamers 15% have taken money from their parents without their permission, mind you, to buy loot boxes, one in 10 11% have used their parents' credit or debit card to fund their loot box purchases, and one in 10 9% have borrowed money they couldn't repay to spend on loot boxes. The thinking is that it won't be Clark Kent in the suit this time around but an original character created for the screen. For three of the over 600 that were surveyed, young gamers' loot box spending has resulted in their families having to re-mortgage their homes in order to cover the costs, which seems like the title to an article from The Onion. Duncan Stevenson, chair of the GHA and deputy chief executive of RSPH, said, while this is a small survey of gamers, our research suggests that the drive to play games containing loot boxes is encouraging many to beg, borrow and steal. Loot boxes really are the gift that keeps on taking. And it's possible that this bold reimagining of one of DC's biggest heroes won't be the only one, as a new report is pointing to the studio working on a Black Batman project, too. Giant Freakin' Robot has shared that their sources tell them that WB is developing yet another movie for The Dark Knight, but this time the man under the cape and cowl will be an African-American character. Aside from the financial cost our latest survey with gamers suggests that the fixation with loot boxes can lead to classic symptoms of addiction including mood swings, problems sleeping, and impacting on their social life. We are calling for parents to be aware of the risks of loot boxes when buying presents this Christmas, and to boycott games with these predatory mechanics until we see them classified as a form of gambling and removed from games played by under-18s. A lot of gamers felt that the games that they were playing were pay to win, and without spending a lot of money on loot boxes they were impossible to play competitively. They also found that the odds of getting items were incredibly low, which leaves them frustrated and ripped off. This, including what loot boxes frequently included features, loot that makes them feel incredibly important to gamers makes buying them feel especially addictive. This comes on the heels of news from earlier this year where the UK House of Lords called to immediately reclassify loot boxes, stating that the government must act immediately to bring loot boxes under the purview of British gambling legislation and regulation. For the aforementioned survey from earlier, over £700 million or US$934,395,000 is spent within the UK on loot boxes on a yearly basis, which is quite a lot of dosh. Geraldine Bedell, executive editor, Parent Zone, said, Parent Zone strongly backs the GHA's call for loot boxes to be classified as gambling. As this concept is still in the earliest stages by the sounds of it, the outlet is unable to say who it could be, but it's easy to guess that this purported film has been inspired by contemporary DC Comics. As part of the future state line relaunch, the latest Batman is Timothy Jace Fox, the estranged son of Lucius Fox, who's taken up the Bat mantle 20 years from now after the apparent death of Bruce Wayne. This origin might fall a little close to the Batman beyond movie that's in the works, though, so some changes might have to be made if Fox's Bats really does end up getting his own vehicle. Alternatively, there's David Zavim, the Batman of Africa, who uses a powerful exoskeleton given to him by Wayne to fight crime and corruption in the fictional African nation of Matamba. If DC goes with this option, you'd have to imagine that they're looking for their answer to Marvel's Black Panther. Still, whichever character this Black Batman ends up being, the movie getting the go-ahead likely depends on the success of the Abrams Superman flick, whenever that arrives. In any case, it's not like we're going to be short on Dark Knight films as it is. Ben Affleck's back for Zack Snyder's Justice League, dropping next week, and 2022's The Flash, while Robert Pattinson makes his debut in the role in The Batman next year. Our research, like theirs, points to the exploitation of children by gambling-like mechanisms in online games, and the use of psychological techniques drawn from gambling. Risks are being taken with the future of young people, who are being taught to gamble. For more information on the article, be sure to check it out here. What do you think of this news? Do you agree that loot boxes should be seen as gambling? Let us know in the comments.